powder coating allows you to coat, cure, and put the part back in service in less than an hour. The cured finish is more chip, scratch, and solvent resistant than liquid coatings. And the finish looks better too because there are no drips, runs, or overspray. An added bonus is that this process is environmentally safe and can be done in the home shop. You may be surprised at just how easy it is to get started. Our hot coat powder coating system will have you coating like a pro in no time. But first, you need to make sure that you have the following. First, you need an electric oven or toaster oven dedicated to curing parts you will be coating. An old kitchen oven works fine, but you need to be located in a well-ventilated area and not used for food preparation. Do not use a gas oven. Second, you'll need an air supply source for the gun. From large projects to small, the hot coat gun requires very little air. Just 0.5 CFM at 5 to 8 PSI works fine. You can even use a portable air tank with regulator. Third, start with a clean, bright, well-ventilated work area, an appropriate respirator, dust mask, and eye protection. What is powder coating and how does it work? Powder is essentially a pulverized plastic material. The hot coat application gun electrostatically charges the powder. The powder adheres to the grounded metal part evenly, consistently, and without odor, a decided advantage over painting. The part is then baked to flow the powder and cure it into a durable, beautiful finish. Just follow the easy three-step process. The versatility of powder coating is impressive. Any metal part that can withstand the cure temperature without degrading can be powder coated. Before you coat, be sure to remove any coatings, dirt, grease, or other contaminants from the part. Chemical stripping with Eastwood Decoat is an ideal way to prep the part. Larger parts can be cleaned by abrasive blasting using a cleaning disc or a wire wheel. With the existing coatings and contaminants removed, perform a final cleaning of the part with pre-painting prep. Just spray down liberally with pre until what's dripping off looks clean or wipe with a lint-free towel. Mask any sections of the part that you do not want to be coated. Be sure to mask threads, close tolerance holes, gasket surfaces, and other critical surfaces. Hang the part and practice sliding the rack in the oven without disturbing the powder coated surface. Uncured powder is held in place by static attraction and can be easily removed. Parts can often be positioned on or suspended from an oven rack. Be sure to turn the oven rack around so that it is tilting and is not required to remove or install the rack. Hot coat powder is not solvent based and is environmentally friendly. Although the hot coat system is very safe to use, appropriate eye and respiratory protection should always be worn. To begin application of powder, fill the gun cup a third of the way full. Avoid overfilling as this may cause the powder to fluidize poorly. Attach the air supply regulated to 5 to 10 psi. Plug the gun into a grounded three-prong outlet. Be sure to ground the part before spraying. This is usually done by attaching a grounding clip to the part or wire holding the part. Now you're ready to begin coating the part. Typically only one coat will be needed. Apply the powder in an even and consistent manner. It is not necessary to apply the powder in an overlap fashion as is required with conventional painting. Coat inside corners and recesses first, then coat the remainder of the part. This will assure an even consistent coat. Continue to coat until you no longer see the base metal showing through. Eastwood's hot coat system has many advantages over spray painting. Powder coating reduces overspray, making cleanup a snap. The powder on the floor can be just swept up and disposed of in your household trash. Powder goes further than liquid coatings because it contains no solvents. One 8 ounce bottle of powder covers the same area that would normally require two to three cans of spray paint. How is the powder cured? Most parts cure in as little as 15 to 20 minutes at 320 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit after the powder flows out. Be sure to follow manufacturer's directions precisely for best results. You can even use an old range or toaster oven for curing smaller parts, decreasing process cost and minimizing environmental impact. Once the part has cooled, it is ready to use. You may wish to apply a clear top coat over the powder finish in order to enhance the durability and depth of the finish.